My name is Jeanette Baca. I work at Vineland Middle School and I'm the secretary here. You have a little bit of a story about how you became the secretary as opposed to what you used to do. Tell walk I me did. I, I worked in transportation for 16 years. Um, I think it's longer than that, but um, when they decided that they were going to start making some budget cuts and stuff, um, I realized that my PERA, as I'd already been working for the district for quite a few years and had some money put into Social Security, but I wanted to be able to make sure I had some type of a retirement in PERA. Um, I'm still too young to retire, so I decided to apply for a position with the district. And I was fortunate that they had an opening as a secretary at the elementary school, and um, I started working there um, for a few months, which was kind of nice. <laughs> Different, <laughs> pretty busy, a lot, a big change. It was a very big change. Um, Something that was negative on, uh, as far as, you know, pay, because I took a two-month pay cut in salary. I went from a 12-month employee to a 10-month employee. Um, our insurance went up $100, which comes out of my pocket. And so um, that was something that was a shock, you know. Um, and as far as working, at, at least I'm still working. When I started in transportation, to work for this district was, um, God, it was like an honor. You know, you work at that school, you work at District 70, I bet it was hard to get in there. And it wasn't, it's not more personable anymore. You know, it's, it's distant, it's just a job, you're just a driver, you know. And so um, the drivers, the drivers I think have it a lot harder who have decided to stay with the company. Um, I chose not to. They're doing a lot of cuts, also cuts in bus routes, we just found out today, that's going to affect um, the elementary part of this school. And so um, that's concerning, you know, because they're doing it right in the middle of the school year where, um, you know, that's going to impact the kids. And I thought that all of this transition was not uh, to impact the kids. And this is a big impact on them to make changes like that in the middle, just to cut one whole route. What is the, the main reason that you left uh, transportation? Did you feel like you were going to lose your job? No, I didn't, and they offered me a position. Um, I just, I just didn't accept it. I didn't want to. Why not? Um, I had heard a lot of negative stuff about the company. I looked into it and researched it a little bit. Um, and so I was just concerned about that. And again, a lot had to do with my retirement. You know, I'm 50 years old, and um, I'm concerned about that. I have to think about the future, you know, as far as myself is concerned. Now, this is like the outsourced company, the private company they brought in to mm -hmm. run the bus system. And just, just your take, why, why, did they, why did they make that change here in the district? They said that they were saving money. The department, to be honest with you, was making cuts. They were making um, quite a few cuts. Um, I feel myself working in that department and working with a lot of the budget in there, that if they would have continued making the cuts that they had, that they would have made good cuts. Um, combine a lot of the routes, which was taking place, and um, uh, keeping the drivers or keeping the whole staff in with the district as a whole, you know, instead of, of just outsourcing the whole department, you know, and that way the district still would have um, been able to um, have somewhat of control on that, and they don't have that anymore. Okay. Well, let's go to your, your new job here. How, how is it, uh, how's it working out? What, what do you like about it? I love it. The kids. In transportation, you never want to drive for a, a middle school, but working in a middle school is a lot of fun. Why so? Their personalities. Their personalities. Is, you never understand it. When you go and pick them up and take them home, they, you know, they may yell, for, and they do that for attention, you know, which I didn't realize that until you work here. And, and you, now I understand. I, I understand um, their personality, I guess. But I really do like it. In this job, 
and as you've seen, you know, the, the budget cut that we took last year and the, the one that we're looking at taking this year and who knows what's coming up, what's, what's kind of like the mood in this building then? You know, it's scary. You know, people are thinking, oh, is it going to be me next or what department is going to come up next? And, you know, that's a scary feeling. You know, it's a scary feeling for um, a person, special. you know, most of us have families still. We're, you know, this district is a young district, I think, you know, and they have families that they're supporting and, you know, they keep making um, the budget cuts and stuff and, you know, and people are worried about that. They're scared. Are you scared? Or do you feel like you're... I do. I am. My husband is self-employed. And so his work is down to almost nothing. So our roles have reversed, and um, we need medical insurance, and you know we need a, a regular income, you know. And so I, I do get worried of that. I'm very worried of it because we are on a, a monthly income. You know, I prepare myself. You know, I know that I can only spend this amount of money, or I can do this with whatever money I have. Some people aren't like that. You know, so I don't overextend or overspend. You know, um, if something harsh is going to take place, because that is very harsh for something, a change like that to take place, I feel that it would be nice for a district to say, you know, this is what we're looking into. Prepare yourself. You know, prepare yourself. We all know there's budget cuts. We all know that, you know, we're in a crisis and things need to, to happen. You know, but um, don't just come one day and say, oh, the doors are closed and your, your department or your position is, is disappeared. And that's what's really scary is because you never know if that's going to take place. What do you think when you, you know, hear basically teachers and education professionals getting, getting bashed the way they've been in the past year? I think it is absolutely sad because there is not one person in, in the United States or in society that doesn't go through education you know if it's not on the top of our totem pole then my goodness what's going to happen to our world you know we all have to be educated some one way or another you know there needs to be something there and you know teachers oh my god just being inside the school now from being outside looking looking in and seeing what happens I, i'm shocked the amount of time that they spend and, and it's time that is is their own time, the money that they spend, you know, um, it's just it's just unreal to me. You know, I used to think, oh, I do this all on the side, you know, and I don't get paid for it, but, you know, I don't do half as much as of, of what they've done or do. You know, just watching that, it, I'm 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 overwhelmed with just watching them. It's uh, it's tiring. It's tiring to me to watch them what they do. I'm trying to play catch up here. You know, um, they're always in a go mode. And I know that something's going to be taking place. And they just keep going and going and going. And I have to sit back and gather my thoughts and think, am I doing this right? Or what's, t what's happening? You know, and it's because they it's nonstop. You know, they are nonstop. There's one program right after another, another that they, they just keep going. There's, there's, it's like there's no stopping. If, if they're to stop or think about what they're doing, you know, they're going to get lost, and, and I don't think that they want that to happen. <laughs> so they just keep going, moving on. Very impressive to me to sit there and watch a lot of, a lot of the stuff that goes on with the teachers.